Hey everybody, Dylan here from Iceberg TV. Today, I have a fast stack of Innova Proto Glow Discs to share with you guys. I do also have a couple of glow molds or mint discs. So if you wanna see those, make sure you check out the next video I'm gonna upload. I'll probably upload that today as well. But today I wanna to focus on the Innova DX Glow Rock. I will go inside uh, to a dark room and glow these after I give them all a throw. So I've got two Innova Glow Rocks. I've got a 169 and then I think this one's a 173. So 169, 173. We've got a Shrike, which has like a blizzardy bubble rim, which none of the other ones have that. So I'm wondering if all of these came out with the blizzard rim. So we've got like a blizzard rim Shrike. We've got a Valkyrie. All of these Proto Glows have really nice dome to them. We've got the Turn nice dome they're all like poppy toppy which is absolutely incredible we've got the nice leopard three absolute beauty and we've got the mako three so these are all innova molds that i honestly enjoy i'm glad they came out with a bunch of proto glow drivers honestly i feel like when it comes to putters mids and fairway drivers most people's lineups are set in stone but I feel like anybody can go out and try a new distance driver and have fun throwing a new distance driver. So I will start off with these slower discs first, the rocks, the Mako, then we'll do the leopard and then we'll do the three drivers. Man, I'm still a little bit discombobulated. Those of you who enjoyed the last couple videos I uploaded from Florida, I apologize they weren't the highest quality, but I wanted to put something out while I was out on vacation. So I just edited those on my phone. So they weren't up to my usual standards. But now we're back. I drove 12 hours through the night and recovered a bit yesterday. And now we're officially back to regular uploading. So this is the 173 Glow DX Rock. Oh, she's a beef dog. You never know what the DX Rock, is it gonna be a laser or is it gonna be beefy? It's a 4403, but usually DX discs don't fly that stable. I'd probably put the flight numbers on that more like a 4401. Probably when it beats up though, it'll get a lot straighter. Let's throw the Mako 3 next. This is a 5500. I'm just gonna put it flat and see, does it turn and does it fade? I'll throw it similar to how I threw those rocks. That thing is an absolute laser beam. That Mako 3 is basically how the hex, the Lazadal hex wishes it flies. That thing's an absolute beauty. Then we've got max weight Leopard 3. It's a minus two one. So let's try and put her on a little bit of hyzer. Not quite a full stand up. I'm super curious to see how that one flies when thrown flat. Then we've got a Valkyrie. So we'll do the Valkyrie. Also a minus two, we'll put it on a little bit of hyzer. Same deal, similar flight to the Leopard. I definitely wanna see how those go when thrown more flat. Then we've got the Turn, which is a 12 speed. And then we got the Shrike, which is a 13 speed. This thing, listen to that heartbeat. This thing's absolutely gonna go. Oh, that thing crushes. Holy smash. That went really far. That's awesome. And I'm super curious with the blizzard rim. It's got a blizzard rim, but it's a 171. It's got very low parting line, very understable looking profile. Like, I actually feel like this is worth showing you guys like mega, mega low parting line. Like the parting line is almost in line with the bottom of the disc. So I get the feeling this guy's gonna be pretty flippy, I hope. 13, six minus two, two. That thing's gonna go so far if I can give it a little more height. That got there super fast. All right, let's go gather everything and we're gonna throw them back. It has been far too long. Innova has essentially just made glow discs that feel good, but they don't glow very well in the past. What I've been hearing, I haven't tested these out myself yet. I've heard the new Proto Glows are really bright and that they glow for a long time. I could actually just see them. Once I opened the box, I just left the box on the floor 
I could literally see them changing to green when I hadn't even taken them out of the box yet, just from a little bit of natural light. So that gave me a little bit of hope because I have tons of other glow discs in my office and none of them were turning green, but these were. So with that being said, I do expect these to get quite a good glow to them. Um, after I throw these all one more time, we'll go inside and actually see, does the new Proto Glow stack up versus the old glow? It's so fun that we're heading into fall disc golf. The clocks just switched back. So I do see myself probably playing more glow this year than I've played in any other year. Um, reason being, I didn't realize this, but we have some really awesome glow leagues where they light up all the baskets. And yeah, now I have all these cool glow discs to go out and actually play some glow rounds with. So the game plan is to go and play some glow leagues for sure this fall and this winter. So if you want to see me film glow, let me know. I'm not sure how that would translate on video playing glow disc golf in a YouTube video. Could be trash, could be really fun. So we'll see how that all works out, but let's give everything one last throw and then I'm gonna go inside and show you guys how all these guys glow. So we'll go with the rocks first. So that was the max weight one. It's definitely a little more stable, I feel like, than this lightweight guy. This one is a 169. That slightly lighter weight one, I feel like really, really goes for me. That's gonna be an absolute staple when I do go play Glow. Most of the leagues that they play for Glow, they play them on shorter courses, like one of the local courses, Bailey Road Park, I believe has a really popular Glow League. And most of those holes are far less than 300 feet. Let's see the Glow Mako 3. Let's try and hammer on this one a little more. I mean, what a missile. That thing is an absolute missile. That's going to be an absolute staple for Glow as well. I'm really happy with that Mako 3. That's kind of like, it reminds me of my Discraft Meteors, which is one of my favorite, like straight to understable mid ranges. The feel, but it just has probably a little bit easier forward push than the Meteors. The Meteors, they flip a little bit or they don't flip. They're a little more temperamental. That Mako seemed a lot more point and shoot and definitely flies true to those zero, zero numbers. All right, let's hammer on the Leopard. It's a nice stable Leopard 3. Just like a workhorse fairway. Probably flies pretty similar to a new Champion T-Bird for me. The Champion T-Bird is one of my favorite all-time fairway drivers. Probably didn't fly quite as close to a minus two as maybe a new non-glow champ Leopard flies, but the Leopard, really nice like workhorse fairway driver type flight to it. All right, Valkyrie. The Valkyrie is a mold that I've always loved, but I never bagged one for too long. That is a stable Valkyrie. Definitely no minus two to be had on that guy. And now we have our last two drivers. We have the turn. I feel like the turn after that first throw feels like it's gonna be absolutely money for my arm speed. Let's see how this glow turn flies. Let's give it full power, little bit more height. That thing absolutely goes. If you don't have the arm for a destroyer, I feel like unless I'm throwing a super beat up destroyer or it's one with like a super low parting line, like one of the Saki bomb destroyers or Raptor destroyers with like a three line Avery destroyer, those ones historically have a lower parting line, fly a little, a little more straight. I feel like I don't really have the arm speed for a destroyer, but I definitely feel like I have the arm speed for that turn. Now I've got the bubble strike here. I'm going to trust it with a little more flat and a little more height. Oh, we're, gonna, we're definitely hitting the trees. Oh, wow. It snuck through most of the way. The bubble rim in that thing is pretty sweet. It's definitely not as flippy as I thought it was going to be. Re another really nice workhorse distance driver on that one as well. So now we're going to gather everything up one last time. I'm actually going to bring these back inside and glow them up with a resonator and just see how they compare. I have some color glow firebirds and I probably have some other older Innova glows laying around, I assume. So I'll see if I can track down some older Innova glow to compare it to. Uh, but I, I well, from what I've heard, 
these glow just as well as old Castaplast or Eclipse 2.0 MVP. That's what the word on the street is, but here today, we're gonna confirm if that is true or if it's not true, and we're gonna see how these light up in just a few seconds here. All right, the shower is apparently the darkest area in my house. So we're in the ba bathroom right now, so hopefully the reverb's not too crazy. We're gonna start off here with a DX Glow Rock. We're using the resonator to do this test today. So we'll take a look. I mean, it's pretty bright, but the question is, how bright is the old glow in comparison to the new glow? So this is the DX Rock here. Looks pretty strong. I would feel pretty confident throwing this at night because it's going pretty brightly. I'm actually impressed by that. Now we have an old 2018 Glow Firebird. Everything that comes out of this box glows up really well. You can already see that this Firebird is quite dim in comparison to the rock. So the rock has been out of the resonator for much longer than the Firebird and it is already much brighter. So this is a good sign of the glows to come. Now what I have here is an Eclipse Watt. So we'll see how bright the world, ooh, okay. This thing is bright. This is definitely immediately brighter than the DX Glow. Um, so this is MVP and Axiom's Glow. This thing is bright. I am curious to see how long this glow lasts for, but I will say right off out of the gate, straight out of the box, this thing is much brighter than the Glow DX. And now we have the Proto Glow Champion Leopard 3. Okay, this is promising. This looks very, very bright in comparison to the MVP. Um, I do feel like it's worth comparing the Leopard to the Rock. So let's give them both one last spin of the wheel here. So this is Proto Glow versus DX Glow. Um, the Proto Glow is substantially brighter than the DX Glow, in my opinion. But overall, this is some really good new glow plastic from Innova, especially when we consider how it glows compared to the old stuff. So this is the Firebird. It's no longer glowing at all. By the time you threw this disc and went and found it, it'd be gone. But man, I don't know. This thing hasn't gone back in the resonator yet, and it's still the same brightness as the Innova Proto DX and the Innova Pro Champion Glow. So MVP still may perhaps be the top dog, but Innova has definitely clearly stepped up their game. We can see that from the before and after, but let's get the light, let's put the lights back on and I'll give you guys my final thoughts. Yeah, so overall Innova has done a really nice job with their new Proto Glow plastic. Um, I really like the molds they chose for this plastic. You can also get the Gorgon in the Proto Glow and they have some like color glow options for that one as well. But shout out to Disc Golf Deals USA. That's gonna be the best place to get any of the discs you saw in today's video and any other disc that you could ever possibly want. They have one of the most expansive lineups on any website available. Click the link in the description below and you can save 10% on anything on the website. And that even includes MVP and Axiom discs now. So we're one of the only retailers that discounts MVP and Axiom products. So make sure you click the link, access my storefront and use that discount. Save yourself some money at the link in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.